Are you throwing away easy money? That's what we're going to talk about here today. And if you are, I'm going to tell you how to avoid it. And if you're thinking about it, you might be, I'm going to tell you how to avoid it as well. So you can keep the money in your back pocket in the easiest, safest way you can possibly imagine. Simple arbitrage strategy, my friends. And we're going to dive right into that here at the Heritage Wealth Planning a YouTube channel, where if you like what you see here, subscribe, comments, thumbs up. The whole thing helps me immensely uh, with a YouTube algorithm. So we're going to do two uh, sections of this. First, we're going to look at the research paper by uh, uh, John Chauvin over at Stanford and some of his colleagues that we've uh, identified some other research before. And then we're going to go down the whiteboard in part two of this. We're going to draw it out for you in the whiteboard because uh, for me, I'm very visual and I can read this stuff until I actually can think about it in a visual concept. A lot of times it doesn't work for me. So, I mean, literally, I read this paper like two or three times. I said, this does not make any sense to me. So I had to draw it out on my little whiteboard. I said, oh, OK, it's just the way my brain works. Your brain might work differently. It's all cool. That's what makes the human race so in interesting for sure. So subscribe. All right. So let's dive right into this. Again, we're going to go. Uh, with uh, uh, John Chauvin or Chauvin, uh, Gila Bronstein from uh, Cornerstone Research, Jason Scott, who's with Financial Engines. I don't know where he was before, but that's where he is now. And Sita Slavov from George Mason. Um, and these are the same group that we did a, a, a study or at least a look at a video on yesterday on a social of uh, working longer in retirement. And we kind of showed you the most important factor, not working longer is deferring social security. So now they got this thing from NBER, National Bureau of Economic Research, going back to 2016, leaving big money on the table, arbitrage opportunities and delaying social security. So not only do we say there's opportunity in delaying social security because you get the 8% each year delayed earnings credits, but we're going to actually show you how it can make you money as well uh, relative to taking it earlier. And again, more than just delay or take, it's actually absolutely an opportunity to see how this works and see how you can net yourself significant amounts of money too. So let's dive right into this. So I'm going to go over to my uh, uh, my Google Docs here because when you save a file uh, to Google a PDF, you have to open it with Google Docs for you can actually write your comments on here because uh, you can't do a, a notes in, in a PDF. You got to do it on a Google Doc. So actually, if you're ever wondering how to do this to save a PDF into Google Docs, just real quick, you actually got to go to Google.com if you're on Chromebook. I don't know about the other things. And, and then you'll see your Google Drive from there. You can't do it from your files within your Google drive itself uh, in terms of if you were going to go to your files like if you go down here and you can see the and you click on uh if you click on files it doesn't work you actually got to go to google.com on the top right you'll see the tic-tac-toe bar you click on that hit your drive and then you'll see the file you want to open but you right click you highlight that file you right click it and then it'll say open with and then you open it with google docs it took me a long time to figure that out because a lot of videos showed you how to do it but it wasn't working for me and the reason was working because you got to go to the google url to open the file from your google drive there just fyi all right all right so let's talk about this for some individuals, delaying Social Security offers a significant arbitrage opportunity because they can defer Social Security and have higher income in all future years. Arbitrage exists for most primary earners who either purchase a retail priced annuity or opt for a defined benefit annuity when a lump sum payout is offered uh, while foregoing the opportunity to defer Social Security. These individuals are essentially buying an expensive annuity when a cheaper one is available. And their decision to claim Social Security is almost certainly a mistake. The magnitude of the mistake can reach almost $250,000. And they, oh, actually, okay, so here's Gila Bronstein, not just with a cornerstone a group there, but with uh, Stanford. Okay, I did not know that. And then there's uh, Jason with uh, Financial Engines. So he does have his own email, financialengines.com. That's good. And Slavov or Sita Slavov, George Mason, and then, of course, John uh, through uh, Stanford. So, okay, cool. Um, anyway, so remember that. The individuals are essentially buying an expensive annuity when a cheaper one is available, and their decision to claim Social Security is almost certainly a mistake. Uh, we're going to dive right into this, my friends, because this is important. All right. And again, I just took my notes. Might seem a little bit scattered. And we're going to go to part two and I'll draw it on the on the board down there. But just hear me out because you got to understand how this comes to the concept and how it could play out for you. 
In this paper, we find that many people have the opportunity to make an arbitrage profit by selling an expensive annuity and using the proceeds to purchase a cheaper supplemental Social Security annuity by delaying starting other Social Security benefits. This arbitrage opportunity is available to individuals who are considering either purchasing a retail price annuity or taking a defined benefit annuity when a lump sum is offered by their employer. So you got three things going on here. Social Security, which is annuity, taking your own private annuity through a firm like USAA or TIA CREF, or taking a lump sum annuity, uh, taking a, your defined benefit, uh, defined contribution plan, your 401k, and annuitizing that. Now, before you say, well, I don't want an annuity, just hang in there. There's even lots here for you. I'm just telling you right now, the academic research on the favorability of annuities for a sustainable income or retirement is, is so overwhelming, one-sided anymore. Uh, it's, it's just, I don't want to say it's not debatable because that says you can't, I don't want to shut down debate. Uh, but the, the academic of taking an income annuity with a, par a portion of your retirement defined contribution plan or IRA plan or TSB, which is a defined contribution, is uh, is pretty significant. And you should rethink your, uh, if you're not, if you're, What's the word I'm looking for? If you're anti-annuity, you really need to rethink that because the annuities are significantly beneficial for most retirees without question. But a Social Security's annuity, your pension's annuity, then you can take your, your defined contribution plan and annuitize that as a guaranteed income stream or do it through a private company like USAA, TI Craft, or another company. Um, all right, so taking advantage of the arbitrage opportunity involves foregoing the defined benefit annuity and taking the lump sum payment out instead, or foregoing the purchase of a retail price annuity. So essentially, we're not going to buy an annuity with our 401k contributions, or if our pension offers a lump sum, we're not going to buy that. We're going to delay taking Social Security instead, because that will give us a better price annuity, and we can make up to 250000 bucks. not quite that, but two forty eight. Uh, if, if and I'll show you here, uh, the funds from either the lump sum payout or the foregoing of the retail annuity would be used to delay the commencement of Social Security benefits. Classic arbitrage occurs when one can simultaneously buy and sell the same asset and earn a riskless profit from the difference in the market price of the asset. A more general definition of an arbitrage strategy is a strategy whose payout in every state of the world in every period is non-negative and whose payout in at least one state of the world is strictly positive. Arbitrage opportunities are usually uh, small and fleeting in competitive markets, but this is not necessarily so when prices are set by the government. So an arbitrage is, I'm uh, let's see, I'm buying from my neighbor. They got a Barbie Jeep for sale for 20 bucks. And my another neighbor right here wants to buy a Barbie G for 30 bucks. So I go buy from him and sell that guy. That's an arbitrage. The reason is because the, the lack of knowledge from this neighbor over here, not knowing that my neighbor over here is wanting to sell his Barbie G for 20, this neighborhood doesn't know, neighbor doesn't know that. So because of me and the information I possess that that guy doesn't have and that guy doesn't have, I can make an arbitrage, a, a profit on their ignorance. There's just no other way around it. That's an arbitrage example where you're buying and selling something at the same time, but making money off the trade. Such is the case for Social Security index, uh, inflation index annuities, which are priced by the federal government legislation and which coexist with more expensive private annuities. If an individual can strategically plan Social Security claiming as to, so as to achieve an arbitrage profit, but ignores this opportunity, we can confidently say the individual is making a mistake. Oh, man. And so we're going to go over some of the details. Uh, in particular, Chauvin and Slavoff show that when today's historically low interest rates are taken into account, the majority of people can gain from delaying taking Social Security. Measured in terms of expected utility, the gains from delays are even larger due to the length of life insurance that Social Security supplies provides. Delaying Social Security is of greatest benefit to primary earners and married couples since the secondary earner can continue to receive these benefits if he or she is widowed. And the delay has the, thus the delay has the added benefit of reducing widow or widower poverty. So basically for me, my wife, my wife and I, you know, we have a primary earner, we'll just say me. My wife can even maximize the benefit of me delaying Social Security because she will step into my benefit 
and will help to delay or uh, reduce widow poverty as well because she will get my benefit, which is based on the amount of money I took at my, I had at my death. The more I delay, the more it benefits me, but also the more it benefits her. So it's a two for one, which helps when it comes to the arbitrage strategy here. That's the benefit of delay. All right. And all of these expected monetary value and expected utility uh, calculations, Social Security deferral reduces income initially. So if you're not taking Social Security, you got to get your money from someplace. This means that deferral does not increase expected utility with individuals with set sufficiently high time discounts or mortality rate risks or for individuals who face liquidity constraints or have strong bequest motives. So if you're, that's the reason not to delay. You think you're gonna die early, uh, you wanna leave a significant amount of money to your heirs or to your church or whatever it is, because Social Security can't leave to heirs. You, know, you can leave to your surviving spouse, but that's it. Can't leave it to your heirs, can't leave it to your church. And on top of that, if you're gonna die soon, uh, then you're not gonna get much from Social Security. So that's where they, they say at the end of the day, it doesn't, even though there's an arbitrage, if this is you, it's probably not gonna be worth it to try to take advantage of the arbitrage, all right? Uh, but for everybody else, it is all, at all times, at all, it is. Several other studies have uh, have also documented situations where individuals appear, uh, appeared before going arbitrage profit, as we talked about here, taking it early as opposed to taking it later to take advantage of the arbitrage. Uh, for example, these guys examined data from a set of companies, hold on, and document that more than one third of employees age 59 and a half or older contribute less to their 401k plans than the amount that would maximize the employer provided matching contribution. Despite the fact that they are immediately invested in the matching contribution and can make penalty free withdrawals. So if you're 59 and a half, you have access to your 401k, if it's fully vested, you're getting, literally you're leaving free money on the table. It, it, from an economic perspective, you're like, that doesn't make sense. That's not rational to do. Now, I don't know what your situation is. You don't know what my situation It might be rational to you, but from a pure utility uh, rationalization perspective, like you got to take advantage of the match. It's free money and you can get the money out without a penalty. Uh, let's see. The magnitude of the, okay, the magnitude of the foregone income is around $500 per year for the years between age 59 and a half and retirement. And the total arbitrage profits, the profit amounts about 3,200 bucks for those retiring at 66. So you're leaving $3,200 on the table by not maximizing your 401k contributions to take advantage of the max when you're 59 and a half. So that's not a huge amount of money, but hey, it's 3,000 bucks. Uh, these other people show that more than the third of households could realize tax arbitrage gains from contributing to a tax deferred retirement account and paying off their mortgage more slowly. These arbitrage gains amount to about 400 bucks per year over the years remaining in the mortgage. At the upper end of the range, if 30 years remain for repayment, the arbitrage gains can reach $15,000. Okay, again, that's pretty good, but 15, that's uh, 500 bucks a year for 30 years. Uh, finally, Lee and Smith show that about around half the individuals in their sample could realize arbitrage gains on an order of uh, 200 to 275 per year by using 401k loans to pay off credit card debt. Huh, who have you heard that from before? Old Josh, yes, indeed. An upper bound estimate of the total arbitrage prof profit is about 13,750 over a 50 year time horizon. So not huge amounts of money, but 300 bucks to you or 300 bucks to the bank. I'll take it to me. Uh, compared to these studies, the, the potential arbitrage gains we find are much larger. For low-income individuals age 69, arbitrage gains can be around 9000 bucks. For individuals with average earnings in their early 60s, the gains are greater than 100000 And those with high earnings, arbitrage gains can reach 250000 bucks. So nothing else in terms of economic arbitrage that's almost a guarantee comes anywhere near this. Using arbitrage to defer uh, your the paying off your mortgage earlier instead of taking the tax advantage of the 401k, uh, just there's nothing else that you can come close. Uh, using 401k loans to pay off high credit card debt, yeah, you can make a little bit of money there, but the arbitrage or delaying Social Security is simply through the roof, and you're not considering that in your planning. You're throwing money out the window. Um, in the analysis below, we show that choosing to collect defined benefit or retail annuities while also choosing to claim Social Security early is dominated by the option of taking the retirement savings as a lump sum and using it to defer Social Security. That is to say, the first choice is a can't win strategy relative to the alternative option. Switching from the annuity to the lump sum and deferring the commencement of Social Security produces either the same or higher income every single time. So if you, if you take early Social Security 
and delay taking your retirement plan, you are literally leaving, not literally, you are leaving money on the table every single instance. You cannot win by instead taking your early distributions from your retirement plan and delay Social, Social Security. It is literally zero and 